Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. In today's recipe, I am going to show you guys how to make this super amazing beef pot roast recipe. Absolutely delicious. Can't wait to show you guys how it's done. But before I begin, as usual, if you like the recipe, don't forget to leave a like. Also subscribe if you're new and let's get started. Here's what you need to make this recipe. I will have all the ingredients down below for you guys as well as the measurement. I'm using beef broth, Worcestershire sauce, onions, cornstarch, garlic, carrots, as well as some beef cubes. You can add some chicken bouillon in there as well. I'm using some white potatoes. You can use red potatoes. And for the seasoning, I am using paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, ground black pepper, rosemary, thyme, celery salt, as well as some fresh thyme. And I'm also using about three pounds of beef chuck. It's nice and clean and ready to go. Let's begin. So here's what I like to do when I am seasoning my meat. I like to mix all of my dry ingredients together. So we're going to give that a nice mix just like that. Once you are done, you're going to take your oil, any type of oil, and just drizzle it all over the beef just like that. Next, you are going to rub that oil in. Once you are done, you're going to generously season your beef. I am going to sprinkle the seasoning all over the beef, and I like to give it a pat instead of rubbing it, so I'm going to pat it in there just like that. Once I am done with one side, I am going to flip it over and season the other side. Now I'm going to season the other side, basically repeating the same step. I am going to drizzle some oil. Once that is done, rub it in. You are going to add your seasoning. And be very generous with the seasoning. Like I said, you want this pot roast to be nice and tasty and flavorful, so be very generous with the seasoning. Once I am done seasoning this, I'll show you guys what to do next. This is how we're looking once we're done seasoning our beef. Now I am going to sear the beef, okay? I am going to give it a nice color. We're not going to cook it or anything. So first thing I am going to be doing in this hot skillet, I am going to pour about two to three tablespoons of oil. Once it's nice and hot, mine wasn't that hot, but make sure it's super hot. Then you're going to place your beef right in there now i had to cut my beef into two two pieces because it was too big as you guys can see once one side is nice and golden brown you are going to flip it over okay flip it over i know it's big i know it's chunky if you want to cut them into small pieces you can it'll cook faster obviously but i am going to flip it over allow the other side to be nice and golden brown All right, once you're done searing both sides, you are going to remove it from this pan. You are going to place it to your crock pot. And if you are in the market looking for a crock pot, 
this one is the perfect one i've been using it for about four years now i love love using it i will have a link down below for you guys to my amazon store just check it out so i am going to place both of these big chunks of beef in there and then you are going to add in your carrots as well as the potatoes i am using white potatoes however you can use red potatoes or reset potatoes or whatever you want and once you are done adding all of your potatoes in there what you're going to do is add your onions and you can also add some bell peppers in there as well and for some fresh thyme flavor i am going to add some fresh thyme even though there is some dry thyme in there and don't forget the fresh minced garlic just add that in there or you can just add some garlic cloves and and now i'm using the beef cubes just add that in there for a nice beefy flavor next i am going to add some more seasoning we'll have that below as well and also we're going to add the remaining of the ingredients which is the worcestershire sauce pour that in for a nice flavor this definitely going oh my hands are ashy i'm sorry y'all it was cold and then you are going to be adding in your beef broth about four cups of beef broth just pour that in And I love me some thick gravy, so I am going to add in some cornstarch in there. So my cornstarch, I added a little bit of water to it, mix it together, and just pour it to the beef broth, just like that. And then what you're going to do is cover this with a foil, and you are going to bake this on 350. I didn't cover it with the cover, by the way. I use foil <laughs> and you are going to bake this for three hours on 350 once it's done y'all this is how we looking okay 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 alrighty it's looking good it's looking oh it's smelling good too you already know now I'm going to shred the beef oh it's so tender just and it was hot I'm sorry the steam was coming for my fingers just shred your beef just like that and boom this is what you have it smell amazing perfect for this weather it smell absolutely divine oh i'm going to garnish it with some fresh parsley and there you have it Thank you for watching guys i hope you all enjoyed today's recipe don't forget to give it a like because this recipe definitely deserves a big thumbs up and also subscribe to join the family i upload every other day here so you don't want to miss it be sure to subscribe and i will see you guys on the next recipe bye guys